वेलकम टू एन सी टूटोरियल बाई सिविल थिंकिंग एंड इन दिस क्लास वी विल सॉलो अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्टैटिक स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस बिफोर आई मूव ऑन आई सजेस्ट यू टू प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एन सी टूटोरियल वन बाई वन एज इन द प्ले लिस्ट सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर द प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और ऑल्सो यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द पॉप अप ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ प्रीवियसली वी हैव सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम वी हैव एनालाइजड a bar problem in ansys workbench 2024 and today we will solve this truss we will analyze this truss in ansys workbench 2024 right now you can see let us first look at it and analyze okay now we in the problem we are provided with only one cross section okay this is the first thing the cross section is only one for both of these members okay since the cross section is same and the uh, section modulus the young's modulus is also same okay so they will be treated as single body okay so basically first we will create the material right then we will create this body then we will assign the material then we will do meshing we will apply the these forces we have only one force okay at this node at this edge which is 500 newton along x axis and negative 250 Uh, 25 newton 2500 newton along uh, y axis right why negative because it is opposite to the y axis right y axis is upwards but 2500 newton is downwards so we will put it as minus 2500 along y axis right then we will put these we have these two simply supports at these two edges okay then we will apply it and then we are ready what we had to find we had to find the deformation shape deformed shape i mean the displacements and we had to find the stresses in these members okay so let us begin now here is our workbench 2024 okay now we have to go to the static analysis static structural here it is We'll double click on it, and I will name it as two-member truss. Okay, two-member truss. Okay, now first we'll go to engineering data. Right-click and click edit. The default is structural steel. I will right-click and delete it because this is not in our problem. I will add a new material. I will call it as material two. no i mean so just material okay now i will put isotropic elasticity i will drag over it because the yang's uh, yang's modulus is same so it is a isotropic material right how much is the yang's modulus it is 7 times 10 to the power 10 so it is 7e10 pascal right 7e10 pascal so here it is let me write 7e10 Pascal is the unit here, so we are good. Now the Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Okay, so we have created a new material by the name of material. Okay, so I will close it. Now our second step is geometry, right? I will right click and click on New Design Modeler Geometry. Okay, okay, it's saying it's ready. So I will click on X Y plane. Right click and click on Look at. Okay, now. in the sketching i will draw these lines now let me let us talk about this now it is 1 meter and we don't know what how, how long is this one right the you know this member but we know this member is 1 meter so what we will do we will do uh, you know simple trick we will create basically three members okay now i will create one member along x axis of 1 meter then i will create another member along y axis of 1 meter and then i will connect those two members and it will create another okay because actually here is no member then after that when i will draw this this member i will delete this member one okay this one so that we will have only two members okay so this is the trick okay now i will click on dimensions drag it down this is 1 meter right 1 meter Now remember we don't have to create another sketch right we don't have to create another sketch as we did in the previous problem because here we have only one line body okay because the cross section is same for both the members so they will be treated as single body okay now 
let me click on draw again line I will click here and then here okay then I will click on dimensions and drag it towards left it is saying v2 is the dimension of this so it is also one meter right remember this is this is not actually a member okay why I draw this because so that I can draw this you know this member so I will click on draw again line from this point to this point okay now we have this member okay now again in the sketching what I will do so I'll click on select okay I will keep the you know edges selected and I will click on this member okay so this member is in yellow means it is selected and I will press the delete key okay so this member has been deleted okay now if you want to confirm you go to sketching you go to modeling you click on this and sketch one you can see the sketch one is selected and these two lines are selected it means if this line has been deleted okay so we have created the sketch now what I am going to do I will go to concept and lines from sketch okay and click apply okay now it has created this line okay remember we have convert this line into a line body for that I have to click on generate so you can see here line body has been created right now it is saying to assign the cross section so first of all I will create the cross section it is rectangular right let us see the width and the height from here it is 0 0.02 meter and 0 0.02 meter okay so I will select the 0.02 here and in here I will also select 0.02 okay and press enter okay so our rectangle has been created right so I will go to the line body click on the cross section and select a rectangular one okay so you can see our geometry has is ready okay so I, will, I can safely close it now so we will go back to our workbench interface now I will double click on the model to create to assign the materials and create the mesh okay so it is starting mechanical so we have to wait a bit okay so mechanical and mechanical enterprise has started and it has also imported the geometry okay now let us go to the display and click on cross section okay now you can see here our you know truss with two members is selected right you can see here okay good now what we have to do we have to assign the materials you can see note of interrogation here now you will see two things now you will see here note of interrogation sign on geometry right and other things you will see they are tick okay so we don't have to do anything then you will see this you know the flash symbol here okay it means we have to generate the mesh okay and the note of interrogation means let us fix it okay basically it is saying to assign the material we have already created this material so I will select this okay then in the mesh I will right click and click on generate mesh so wait for the mesh to generate so here it is our mesh has been generated okay so we have done done these two steps we have assigned the material when we have also generated the mesh so let's close it and go to another step now right click on the setup I mean double click and wait for uh, mechanical to start okay okay you can see the geometry has been created okay the geometry has been imported right now what we have to do in this we have to go to the environment and we have to choose the supports and forces okay now supports are at this and this point okay so I will keep the vertex selected supports the supports are simply supported okay so it is simply supported here I will click on this edge and click apply okay so simple support has been inserted here then I will go to simply supported again and click on this point and click apply so that it inserts another simple supported okay simple support here okay so you can see simple support here and simple support here okay now we have to insert a force where we have to insert a force at this point right so I will go to force and select this edge okay and click apply now we will go define it by components right 
now what is the x component and y component the x component is 500 and y is minus 2500 right so let us do that x is 500 newton right y is minus 2500 newton and z z component is zero okay now we have also inserted the force okay you can see it here let me show it you see the force has been generated okay this is the x component and this is the this is the x component and this is the y component okay now you might be wondering what is this why is why do we have only one force but we have inserted two components now it is saying the resultant okay this is the x component and this is the y component okay now what is the resultant of x component and y component it is square root of x component square plus y component square okay so that resultant is this okay anyways now let us go to our uh, solution okay because we have done every step okay so i will right click and click insert and click on beam tool and insert the beam tool okay now in the beam tool i will insert also deformation okay total deformation for example now when i click on the solution and click on the solve it is solving our problem okay so it is building the mathematical model okay here it is it has solved our problem okay so when we click on the direct stress you can see the direct stress it is this okay so the maximum is in this member and the minimum is in this member right so when you go to deformation okay so deformation is maximum at the free end right the free point the deformation is maximum here okay it is understandable because it is a free end and the forces are here of course the uh, deformation will be maximum here and the deformations will be minimum at these two points okay so the so deformations are minimum means zero why it is zero because we have this support there at supports we don't have any what deformations right so you can also play the animation okay so this is our these are our results okay now if you want you can go to the image and click on uh, image okay now you can right click and click it as save picture as so what it will do it will you can see here you can save this result okay so i think that's it for today if you have any doubts you can comment and if you need help in any ansys project you can also contact me for that okay so that's it for today see you in the next class thank you